First Corinthians 6 verses 10. How long are you going to preach till I get through? Because eternity is too long to play around with stuff like this. Amen. I'm going to preach like a dying man to dying people. I'm going to preach like it's my last time. Because inside, uh, upside rather, eternity, this service ain't even a second long yet. It ain't even a blink long. First Corinthians 6 and 10. He said, neither covetousness, those that break the 10th commandment, they covet their neighbor's wife. They want everything everybody else got. It's a lust for money, the love of money, the root of all evil. First Timothy 6 and 10, a lot of people are going to go to hell because of money. He goes on, he said, drunkards. Well, brother, you know we all, God gives us permission to have a little toddy for the body. Remember what Paul said to begin with, be not seen. Oh, I know what they're going to say, them old sipping saints. Got that little frolic in faith. They got so much grace, they can do whatever they want to. And here's what they'll say. Well, Jesus... Turn water into wine. Yes, I told me that. Yeah, and you are just you just didn't made admission that you believe Jesus was a bartender and the disciples were a bunch of boozing brothers. Huh? Come to Jesus. Yeah. He's serving up wine coolers today. I'm gonna preach on this for a minute. Because in Leviticus 10, 9, God says there was a rule for the high priest. He could not drink strong drink. Hebrews 10, 21 said Jesus is the high priest over the house of God. If Jesus would have been drinking alcoholic beverages and turning water into alcoholic wine when he was here, he had forfeited himself from being worthy to be hanging on a cross to die for our sins. And that would mean his blood was a hoax. Because the Levitical law applied to him as a high priest. And if you were a high priest and you drunk strong drink, you were judged. You, you were out of the picture. So what did Jesus turn the water into? Wine. But what kind? In, 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 in Jewish culture in that time, it was said that it took 60 days, somewhere in that time frame, for the harvest of the vine that was placed in a container to actually ferment and become alcoholic. But the Bible said when Jesus in Matthew 26 and 29 said, I'll not drink of the fruit of this vine with you until I do it in my father with him in my kingdom, in my father's kingdom. The fruit of the vine was the grape that had just been picked, had just been tread out, and it was nothing more than the wine that they would call the fresh fruit. That means it was just the juice, just like your Welch's would be today with God help us, the added sugar. Jesus drank with his apostles the fruit of the vine. It was still called wine. But it was actually said in that culture in that day that it was the best wine. Because it tasted better than the fermented age kind that would get you a little tipsy. But the harvest of the grape only came one time a year. So when they harvested the grapes and even the ones they let ferment to make alcoholic beverages with, uh, they would actually dilute it with water. It was 20 parts water, one part wine. You'd have to drink 20 glasses of it to even start getting a buzz. Because they thought it was barbaric to waste it seeing you only harvest it once a year. So even their wine then uh, was not is alcoholic as ours is today. You drink two glasses of wine now and you liable to be over there with Alice in Wonderland. Come on. Amen. But Jesus said the fruit of the vine. You remember in Luke chapter 7, they accused Jesus of being a wine bibber and a gluttonous man. And they also accused him and John the Baptist of being demon possessed. So if Jesus was a wine bibber, if he drank wine and turned water into wine and said, let's party hardy, let's get drunk tonight. Well, then he just forfeited his worthiness to die on the cross for our sin and we're all lost. 
And that means he was an overeater too. And that likewise, he was possessed with the devil. Because if he was guilty of one, he's got to be guilty of all three. But I've come to tell you that is error. That is heresy. Glory to God. That is debauchery. That is deception. Come on, anybody here, Holy Ghost. That's blasphemy to say that Jesus, the Son of God, just to support your sin of drinking is okay. Remember in John 2 where he turned the water into wine? Remember the governor of the feast after he drank it? He said, oh, you saved the best for last. Again, the good wine. The best wine in the culture of Jesus' day was not the fermented one. That's right. It was the grape that had just been tread out. The fruit of the vine. They, still, they called it all wine. They didn't call it grape juice. They, all of it they called wine. It was all wine to them. But somebody shot this wine didn't make you a wine old because it weren't fermented. It was the best wine. That's what he turned the water into. Not the fermented. One you got to develop a taste for. Top wine. The best one. The fruit of the vine. Amen. Proverbs 20 verse 1 says Wines of malt and strong drinks raging And he that's deceived thereby is not wise To say Jesus turned water into wine and drank wine Come on somebody that was fermented Would to say he was deceived Because God's word says if you're deceived by there You're not wise Ain't it amazing before the devil ever put on the side Of a can or a bottle Budweiser God said Bud you better wise up Because if you drink that stuff you're not wise Proverbs 23 talks about when it turns red in the cup and it stings like an adder. That means a serpent. In other words, that, that, that ferment, it, it's, it's moving. Well, you ever thought why they called it spirits? I went to Applebee's today, thought I'd have me some grilled chicken with whatever it was and they had on that. It was good. But all their advertising everywhere else in there, hey man, and I even saw it on the table right there about spirits. You ever seen the places that sell alcohol? They call it spirits. You ever wonder why they call it spirits? Because alcoholism is not a disease, it's a demon. I ain't never met no man that got drunk every Saturday afternoon and by Sunday morning he says, oh, our family just got so much better and got so close. Well, Brother Marvin, they ain't no different than people overeating. Don't get me wrong, gluttony's a sin. Huh? But listen, I ain't never seen no law officer pull somebody over and said, okay, let's see if you've ate too much. Walk that line. Somebody shout, drunkards! Ain't gonna go to heaven. No, 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 no. Well, brother, I ain't a drunkard. Well, guess what? Every drunkard started off being a social drinker. If you social drink, you halfway there. You on your way. Because it's a spirit of addiction. And it's a starter drug. It leads to everything else. That's why Proverbs 23 talks about a man who's been beat and he wakes up the next morning. Read it, Proverbs 23. And he said, I failed it not. Hello? He's got so drunk the night before and he's got beat up in a brawl and he swole up. His face looks like he looks like Rocky Balboa. He's just swole up, but he can't remember nothing. He don't know what happened. God said in his word in Proverbs 31, God says a king is not to drink strong drink because he'll forget God's law. Somebody shout to get drunk is to forget God's word. It's to tell God I don't need this right here. I'm going to do what I want. It's a devil. That's why Paul said don't be deceived. They're going to go to hell if they don't turn from it. If they don't repent. Somebody shout, y'all have yourself some new wine. It won't give you a hangover. It'll make you walk over. Come on, be not drunk with wine. Where it is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Ephesians 5, 18. 
The devil tries to give a copycat to everything the Holy Ghost does. Uh, he wants people to try to get high with them spirits because uh, they don't realize there's a most high from Holy Spirit, capital S. Uh, oh, he's the only one that can satisfy King Jesus, uh, Holy Ghost. My oh, Lord have mercy. He said revilers. 1 Corinthians 16, revilers. That's in party animals. Party hard. Can't party without a drug. Can't party without a drink. 